carved in. Uh, and walnut's a little harder to carve. Now here's but, uh, the way they like, they we like keep, me and Mickey keeps digging, the digging. And we'll it helps help really keep them fine and fine. It ties <laughs> well, up. I see that you've got some plants yeah, cutting chisels. Yeah. And uh, what I've done, this I've, is I've the bought something. I bought a, just a starter kit. Every and I'm trying to teach myself how to do that. And I've got down to the nose part, and I'm having trouble trying to get my dimensions right on my nose. You go back 10 generations, you've got 2,040 inches. You go by the head, you know, like I told you. Yeah. Right. That's, That's the right. bottom of your nose. This is the middle of your head. Right. Right there is the middle. This is the middle between here and here. Oh, you know, so I'm on the you the 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 it's, it's, your said, face is a 45 degree angle. Uh, uh, the reason uh, for this was, that was not right that they wanted to bury it in the boat. Move it! You couldn't go to the side. Why not? You went down the road to the tree. Uh, well, I had old man talk to it over in Alexander. We was a 45 degree angle. Well, he said, you know, and we'll use this guy right here. He, he, he's pretty well detailed. Best you put that up there on the end of his nose, and he said, you yeah, see the right of five degree you angle in there? Right. And he said, All right. that's you what you're going to go. Whatever distance you can when you start out, and he said, you, that was too hollow. you're going to start dozens. with this, that was you done the profile. Right. That was all you get that profile in there, then you start this way and this way. Then you come in that car. Well, that's where I, that's, apparently that's where I make a mistake on. I'm not getting my 45 right. Three miles to church and three miles back. That's what you want to do. This is just a simple okay. little old piece. Everything is geared around the Sabbath journey. You can put two before it together with, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, go around the wall. Just a regular angle break. That's my dog. And that's what I use that for. 45 degree angle. Now, do you do this for a living, or is it a hobby, or, or This fun? is, <laughs> I'm retired. Right. I spent 16 years in the oil field working 12, 14, 16 hours a day. And I don't work nothing on no more. <laughs> Anything that takes any work in, I'm not going to Oh, you just going to dodge it, huh? Well, yeah, that's right. There's, uh, there. And I enjoy doing it. Uh, I teach a whole lot. Uh, now, old grandpa ever seen it. I do probably ever every week I'll probably do three days teaching. How do you? How much are your classes? Uh, most of the time they're not anything because uh, on Tuesdays I teach at the uh, senior center. If you want to go sign up at the senior center, you can come up and join in. And we have one here. <coughs> Now we're talking about the mittens, aren't we? Yeah, we meet every Tuesday at Mulberry. You know where Mulberry is? Yeah. Mulberry Senior Center, we meet every Tuesday morning up there at 9 o'clock. From 9 to 3. And uh, every Friday from 12 to 2, we're at Taylorville at the Senior Center. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, it's free for whoever wants to come. And, uh, if you, you know you're not a senior center, but a uh, senior, but when you come on up, you want to. Uh, now, did you, uh, did you teach yourself, or you just like pick up, pick it up, and start into it? Or I, I go, and I'm working on a grant to get a grant to go to uh, Don Campbell. Uh, I go to different classes, seminars, <laughs> and things like that, because uh, it's, it, as I told a fella one time, uh, this lady come up and she asked me, she says, uh, about taking these art classes from this one gentleman, and I said, well, I'm not going to tell you, I, yes, go take these art classes. You won't never learn enough. Right. But yes, go take these art classes. It might not be what you want to do, 
but you create your own style. Right. And that's what I more or less saw. Uh, but he made a brag. It's, he could paint any picture on any canvas in 20 minutes. And I've seen some of his work laying on the ground up there. And I said, yes, sir, it looks like it. Very frankly, I just told him what I thought of it. Well. <laughs> and I, 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 I didn't pull no punches. I said, it looks like it. I said, I'm an artist too, but I said, I don't paint like this. What I've done, I've done detail work. But I happened to have a picture that I painted as a number 10 uh, registered coral, uh, saddlebred horse in the, in the, in the American Saddlebred Association. I done a portion of that. And I just dug it out of the car and said, that was the kind of work I did. And he, uh, he, <laughs> he's a good artist. Yeah, he's a good artist. But uh, uh, like I told that lady, I was, she asked me about taking his place. By all means, take his place. He'll teach you something. I'll take his place. Uh, two or three lessons from him. But, I mean, you know. But uh, and it helped me. Uh, I'm not gonna say just because a man doesn't do anything. The way you oh, want to do it, for a that is, his method is wrong because that's his way of doing it. Right. And uh, all of them uh, uh, good artists, you know, uh, create their own style. They go about whatever they do. I, I took art lessons. See, I spent 16 years in oil fields. And I've done uh, work on natural gas refineries, pipelines. First one thing and another like that. I had a friend of mine that his wife was an artist. Well, I took some art lessons from Isabella Gibbs. I don't know who you know Isabella or not. But her mother taught uh, <coughs> a piano lessons here in town. And she taught art lessons. So when I was in the fourth grade, I took some art lessons from her. And uh, I went to Mitchell Community College and took uh, uh, art lessons on painting figurines. Uh, I did it one time painting for Tom Clark out of Kern uh, Studios out of Mooresville. Uh, those loans and things like that, mm -hmm. I painted them until I found out what they were getting out of them, what they were paying me, and I quit. But they uh, they were doing them paintings down there, and uh, I, they had a Sacagawea, about the size of that right there. And uh, <coughs> paid 55 cents to paint it. She had a blanket around her and a little Indian on her back. And they paid 55 cents to paint that. And uh, I think to myself, well, I was over at Belk one day and walked in there and they had some of them in there. And I picked one of them up, looked at it. Eighty-five dollars what they charge for that thing, and I said, "Hmm, they charging eighty-five dollars for this and paying me fifty-five cents to paint it." I said, "Hmm, Miss Barlow didn't raise no foolish children." <laughs> and I packed up what I had and I took them back down there and told them there'd be no more of that. Yeah, and I quit. I've never been back since, and don't have no intention. That's when I started all this wood carving. Uh, mainly, I done some of it back when I was a boy, mm -hmm. making swing shot swings. You know, boy stuff, you know, uh, little trucks out of uh, bark, you know, I done that. And like I say, I, I done some drawing when I was little. <coughs> but uh, most all of this I have picked up more or less since I've retired. Mm -hmm. uh, I took art lessons from a lady. Uh, this lady wanted to teach me watercolors. I said, okay. So I went and spent about forty, fifty dollars to get watercolors, you know, brushes, and uh, took one lesson. She wanted me to paint a uh, man's torso blue. Just blew it out of my mouth right there. And I said, hmm, I don't think so. 
that ain't for me. <laughs> so I never went back. Well, this, uh, I was living in Taylorville at the time, and they had a ad in the paper about Alexander R. And uh, I called the lady up, and she said, be glad to have you. And Michael say, when I went into her class, I was teetotally dumb. I mean, I didn't know nothing. And uh, one day she told me, said, Lewis, you need to go to somebody else. And I'll talk to you all I can teach you. Uh, <coughs> I took other lessons. And uh, the lady that I'm taking lessons from now, I still take lessons. I don't need them because I've taught about as much art as she has. <laughs> but that's beside the point that I go for the friendship. Right. Uh, there's nobody in that class that doesn't know how to do what they, they do. Nobody. Uh, some of them are better than others, but that helps you. You see somebody else's work, that makes you want to work a little better. Right. Uh, and I go not to take her lesson, but for the fellowship. Right. Uh, because I know about as much about painting as she does. She's a little more particular than I am. She say, don't leave that like that. Change it. And I, I don't want to change it. <laughs> you change it if you want to change it. And, uh, you know, I just... <laughs> I'm like that. I, I, if I want to do something, I'll do it. If I don't, I won't. <laughs> but uh, well, like you said earlier, everybody's got their own style. Yeah, uh, and, and it, it works. Uh, Can you tell us your name? Louis Barlow. Are you from around here, Louis? Nah, born and raised right out twenty mile up the road. Oh, really? Yep. Very good. Uh, I'm from uh, Mulberry section. There's mm -hmm. a lot of Barlows in this area. Yeah. But, uh, they're they're kissing cousins. <laughs> <laughs> what was your mother and father's names? Uh, my mother's name was Della May Shumate. Mm -hmm. And one of the girls that you've seen down there clogging them, down there on the stage was uh, my first cousin's uh, granddaughter. She, she does that clogging. I play music some. Uh, I oil paint, pencil drawing, portraits, do a little wood carving, dance a little, whatever I feel like doing. <laughs> You're a renaissance man. Uh, You're a renaissance man. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm really enjoying life. When I worked, I worked anywhere from 12 to 16 hours a day. I didn't know what an eight hour work day was, and that was most of the time six and seven days a week. Mm. So I put in a lot of hard hours, and uh, like I say, I retired when I was 49 year old, and I've enjoyed my life since then. Very good. Immensely. I, we just got in on this, and I don't want to interrupt, but are you the carver? Yes, sir, one of them. Them fellas over by the hill, they do a little woodworking too. You you did these? Yes, sir. You did a great job, yes. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Barlow. You're welcome, dear. Oh, I'm Do you have a DVD player at home? Oh, yeah. Um, we will send you a copy if you would like one. I would like that very much. Absolutely. Uh, I surely would. This will be available to everybody in the county, um, not to buy, but to watch at the library. Yeah, we won't let anybody take it home with them. I go, uh, I go to the library and do a lot of the library. The one uh, in North Brooksboro? Yeah. Um, this will go actually to the community college library. Oh, but um, you're, you can come in there too. Okay. Um, you can get a library card there just like you would at the yeah. public library. All right. Thank you. are welcome. And we I really appreciate, appreciate this. You have beautiful, beautiful work. Well, thank you. Hold on. Okay. 
I did something I enjoy doing, you know. <laughs> I've been doing it for quite a while. Well, David asked for carving knives or chisels yeah. for our anniversary this uh, year, and that's what I got him. I've got a bunch of chisels here. Whoa. And I didn't show you, but I, I, I brag a little bit once in a while. <laughs> but uh, these are knives that I've made myself. Oh, wow. That's, that's a, a duck bill knife. I made that myself. Hold that flat. This is another little knife that I made myself. Uh, it's smooth wood. Uh, Hello, Daddy. It, uh, Hello, Daddy. What's that made out of? Uh, what kind of metal is that made out of? Uh, just worn, that worn blades. Uh, it's about like a bandsaw blade. Oh, is it? Yeah. That is, has to be the sharpest looking thing I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> that has to be the sharpest on, looking mommy. knife I've ever seen. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, Wait a minute, they should be Come on, we'll go. go play some more? These, uh, I'll show you another little trick I've got. Come on, Mommy. Wait a minute. Talking to me. A lot of times a person will get old on, and he gets uh, uh, kind of nimble fingers. His fingers get to where they're not as good. This is a piece that goes with a with a Fordham. It's uh, like a big Dremel too. Oh, okay. And it's got a got a tube on it as big as my little finger mm -hmm. there. And it hooks right in the end of that so you can see how big that tube is. And it's got a a, a swivel that goes, see the little hole in there? The little, mm -hmm. And it goes in there and, and the way it sticks in there is through that little old band right there. Mm -hmm. Twist that band around. If I twist it around and lose that ball there now, that would be in trouble. But that, I got bits where they go around. Rotate. 